guys, welcome back to Roma's Volca, also known as Roma's World of Vocabulary. We hope you enjoyed our last episode where we all shared some words. Today, we are going to have a theme, the seasons. We are all going to share a word that has something to do with seasons. Nancy, do you want to go first? Sure, Jojo, thanks. My word is climate. It is spelled as C-L-I-M-A-T-E, climate. Climate means the weather conditions prevailing in an area, either in general or over a long period of time. I'm sure most of you know that word. Today, I want to talk about climate change. Climate change is a big problem for human existence. It refers to the change in global or regional climate patterns, in particular, a change which started from the mid to the late 20th century, attributed largely to the increased levels of atmospheric carbon dioxide which is produced by the burning of fossil fuels. Fossil fuels are burnt by power plants, factories, internal combustion engine vehicles, etc. and are not good for the environment because the burning causes the earth to heat up. Heating up the earth causes glaciers to melt. Melting glaciers not only affects freshwater supply but also raise ocean levels which can harm coastal communities. Max, do you want to go next? Sure, Nancy. My word is equinox. It is spelled as E-Q-U-I-N-O-X. Equinox. Equinox means the time or date which occurs twice each year when the sun crosses the celestial equator as a result of which the day and night are of equal length. The celestial equator is the projection into space of the Earth's equator or an imaginary circle equidistant from the celestial poles. Equinoxes are always on September 22nd and March 20th. I love equinoxes because I get enough sleep and also a good amount of time in the day to play or read. Timothy, that brings us to you. That is right, Max. My word is barometer. It is spelled as B A R O M E T E R. Barometer. Barometer is an instrument which measures atmospheric pressure. It is used in forecasting the weather and also determining altitude. At UPS, our meteorologists use it to forecast the weather to make sure that our drivers are safe. Jojo, now it's your turn. Yes, it is. Thank you, Tim. My word is solstice. It is spelled as S O L S T I C E. Solstice. Solstice refers to two times in the year, the summer solstice and the winter solstice, when the sun reaches its highest or lowest point in the sky at noon, marked by the longest day or the shortest day of the year respectively. In the northern hemisphere, the summer solstice or the longest day falls on or in between June 20th and 22nd, while the winter solstice falls on or between December 21st and 23rd. In the summer southern hemisphere, this is the opposite. So guys, we hope you learned some new words about seasons today. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much, everyone. Please subscribe to Roma's Rainbow and hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks for watching. Bye.